What's up guys? I'm back. Um, something different here today. Uh, pretty new. I'm not, I can't, re I can't recall how new. I don't think it's like, you know, fresh off the press or anything, but um, it's newer as far as Wizmet comes, you know, goes. They, uh, this is the Exo Skeleton ES300. So, we kind of have slowly moved all of the Wismec products out, believe it or not. Um, I'm sure a lot of stores are still selling it, but as far as what the feedback I, I've been getting the last year, I'd say, what, they really killed it with the RX200 when it came out. Uh, I sold so many, I couldn't keep them in stock, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. But they really started to decline when they started changing that perfect design they had. I mean, I know all of us companies, you know, we got to keep trying to innovate and make things better. And but all, all of, you know, at the same time, we're gambling on new designs and unknown flaws and errors that will occur from it. And with uh, I've seen everything from contact points wearing out on the doors on those two threes and uh, even the three hundreds. Uh, I've really hoping for the best on that when that came out the quad battery one they came out with the rx 300 and a lot of them are coming back two bays or two two of the batteries are running they're not charging or not what is it not they weren't pulling from all four batteries so it would only really pull for two and then they people would have to rotate inside their mod so really it's a glorified two battery mod with that holds two more batteries so we're seeing a lot of that just everything screens going out charge ports going out um you name it i've seen them come back for it so many times i said you know what? i'm kind of done with them but they came out with this i'm not i'm not even expecting this to be like some uh savior for the company but it was different so in hopes of uh just reviewing something different that's kind of why i winged for this and i really i only got like one so but I thought it was different, it was cool, and uh, why not, just to have it. Uh, I hope that's not already scratched up. But yeah, I wanna tear into this thing and uh, see, I didn't even bother ordering coils. I'm sure it takes some type of proprietary coil, um, if that is their tank. I've never got, never, I didn't keep their company long enough to really get into their tanks and all that. We did sell a lot of their drippers, but, um, I'll let you see the back specs if you wanna, if you can even read that. You can pause it and read it, but we're gonna tear into it anyway, so we'll see what's in it. But it definitely looks cool. I know they have a few different colors. Um, it's definitely bigger than I thought it was gonna be, like in person. I mean, I've seen a few review videos, so, but everything that happens all the time, I order something and it looks way smaller on TV. Which is weird, because sometimes it's the other way around, but I don't know. But, alright, so we got the plastic off. What else is missing? Alright. Exoskeleton, it's like some Call of Duty shit. Pretty nice packaging though. I mean, for Wismac, they, they always did like the smock packaging, cardboard boxes and shit. So I gotta say that's uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so definitely a uh, familiar shape. That's for sure. I gotta put some batteries in this thing. It's pretty cool. It's got the clear clear like plastic so you can actually see all the chip in there uh, hopefully that's a charge port and not firmware update only uh, the cage actually free spins on there or is it just not tight no it actually free spins even with the tank all the way tight you can spin that so that's different And your up and down button. Where's the actual screen? Is that up here? It's gotta be. But either way, let's uh, see what else is in the box real quick. So this insert comes out and we have books and shit, user manual. Oh, uh, they got a user manual for the tank. 
and a user manual for the mod. And of course, this feels like a heavy duty cable. It's actually gonna be a good cable. Not a two inch cable. Oh, and there's a spare coil. Nice, nice. These look about the size of like the TFV8s. Don't know if that would actually fit, but they look about that size. I know the TFV12 is a lot bigger. And yeah, actually a decently long cable. Um, that is micro USB. We're gonna go ahead and put that coil. It comes with uh, the spare coil, looks like a 0.17. Is that right? Yep, 0.17. She. 80 to 220 watts. Okay. So, put that back. Yeah, I'm gonna get some batteries put in this and uh, see what else we can find out about it. Grab a hit. clearly marked in there, that's pretty cool. Huh. Wow, I do not like that. These double wrapped MXJOs are a real pain in the ass. Even the sticker. So with the sticker, it'd actually be like triple wrap right there. So that's gotta come off. Got that off. Now that slides in. And that just clicks in. And we do have a screen there. Woot! So it shows you all three battery levels. As you can see, one, you, know, you got kind of a refresh rate problem there. But uh, yeah, one battery, and two of them are, are lower. They came out of my other mod. But that's cool. So I wonder if it's the same three clicks gets us out of, no? Okay, yeah, three clicks on the fire button will get you out of uh, temperature control. You can put it in TCM1, variable wattage, TC, is that nickel? So yeah, variable wattage. Goes up pretty fast. What does this go to? I don't even remember. Wait. 192.9. It's gotta be because of my battery level, so. Um, but what, yeah, it's supposed to be a 300 watt. But yeah, I think because of the uneven batteries. But it looks like it's got a 0.4 that's in the tank already. Um, it's got pretty cool LEDs when you operate. Oh, that's cool. When you hit, uh, like, turn the wattage up, one side lights up. When you do wattage down, you get that side light up. Uh, no other lights in the back or anything. You hit the fire button, you get both lights. Come on. And I'm going to start frying this coil, so I'm going to take these batteries out. I don't think they change much else as far as working it, so you get the gist of it. Uh, battery door seems pretty good. Clicks into place when the batteries are in or out. Uh, let's take this tank off and see. I want to see what the workings look like here. It's definitely a different looking tank. I don't actually mind the cage. Um, I mean, it's just different. Um, I don't know if the spinning would become annoying or if you go to grab it by the tank wrong and it spins out of your hand or something, I don't know. But we got some Wismac branding, serial number, uh, removable, oh wow. That is, that's crazy. That's actually a small ass tip. Um, it looks like standard 510. Let's find out. No, actually, I don't even have a standard 510. But it looks like standard 510. Um, no O-rings, so I'm guessing yeah, they're, they're just using like a press fit. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see the top fill, how that works. It looks like this will just unscrew. Alrighty then. So the cage just came off. This pulled the glass, so I'm, I'm thinking... Okay... <laughs> Dang, that's cool though, you don't actually need that cage if you didn't want it on there. It probably looks slick without it either. I mean, I'd keep it on. Just definitely it's gonna protect the glass. This doesn't look like it holds that much, does it even say? Cells. No, it doesn't. Probably says in the book, but we're not going that far. We keep it loosey goosey around here. But yeah, I didn't notice that. It's got like a little uh, drip. I'm guessing that's where you, yep, you push that. Bam, fill it, close it, and it should work with the tip in or out. And no. Okay, so. I don't know if that's a bad or a good thing. It, I guess, depends on the person. But, I mean, that will keep it, the, with the tip in, it goes down long enough to where that won't slide, it catches in the, the chimney. So, you have to take the tip out when you go to fill. Do that, fill it. I mean, compared to what I'm used to with the TFV12, I mean, you just hinge it open, whether there's a tip on it or not. I guess I'm just spoiled with that, but... It barely just catches too, so I don't know. You know, I think it was designed that way though, because I have it in there with it open, and there's just a barely a little, little gap there. So actually, when you you just lift it up a little, then push it back down. But uh, yeah, adjustable airflow. Let's see. See if I can focus this. There we go. So when you want to get to your coil, I think this is actually a rebuildable head in here. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know if that's disposable or what. So we're gonna find out. This is actually a disposable, which is surprising because it's got. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, it's got Clapton's in there that are parallel. So that's different. What are the wattage? This is a 0.4, 30 to 90. Okay, so you're not gonna get like huge, huge hit with that, but I mean, that's still decent. It's probably gonna put out some cloud. Uh, I'm not gonna buy this to test it out because honestly, I don't have that much faith left in Wismac, but, and I'm happy with, with my smoke products, so, but that close all that back up i would say i mean it's different you know that will definitely catch catch heads and turn heads and catch people's eye so i have no doubt it'll sell but that's the beauty of uh owning your own vape shop is i can let the consumer buy it test it for me if i don't want to test it i can't afford to buy every single thing and test it myself so on the ones i can't i let the consumer do it if i you know have a slight chance in my uh, gut that I think it will do decent then I'll let them test it and buy it and then they'll give me their feedback so but right off the bat what the fuck is this oh okay just some crime some shit um, yeah I think that's all we have for the Wismet exoskeleton the ES300 so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've had it, give me your feedback. Um, throw it down in the comments. I wanna know in case, uh, you know, you guys have probably had one before I even get a chance to sell this and get their feedback. So yeah, let me know if there's any, been any problems with it, good experience, bad experience, what? And I might uh, start carrying them again if it ends up being good, you know? If, if there's a demand, I will sell it. That's all I know. But yep, that is it for this video, and 
thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for all. Thank you to all my subscribers. And uh, I'll keep these uh, videos coming.